The night before St. Patrick's Day. Written by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Woomer. Twas the night before St. Patrick's Day, the day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun, they love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. They set all the traps round the room with great care, in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. The children then nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of gold coins danced in their heads. Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without any warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. When from their bedroom there rose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wandering eyes should appear? But a terrible mess! A leprechaun was here! Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so as much blink, leprechauns vanish, quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor, which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then, inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. A real live leprechaun! They both saw him wriggling! His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny. His hand clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed all in green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Haha, <laughs> I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and better luck next year. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe. Want to check out the last story we read? Here's the link. Do you have a favorite book you want read aloud? Leave it in the comments below.